हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक इनटू द अनदर सेशन ऑफ सी एस जीरो सेवन शॉर्टिंग एंड सर्चिंग एज ऑल ऑफ यू नो दैट वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वेरियस शॉर्टिंग टेक्निक येट वी हैव कंप्लीटेड विथ वेरी बेसिक शॉर्टिंग टेक्निक कॉल्ड इंसर्शन शॉर्ट देन वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट थियोरी अलगोरिदम एंड प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंसर्शन शॉर्ट लास्टली वी हैव कम्प्लीटेड विथ द डिस्कशन ऑफ क्विक शॉर्ट and in today's lecture we are going to start one of the best fastest and little bit complicated shorting technique that is called as bucket shot i have already cleared a one question in previous lecture that why all these shorting techniques are there as it shorts the number then why can't we use only any single shorting technique the reason is its time complexity and the space complexity every shorting technique have their own advantages and disadvantages that's why we are supposed to discuss each and every shorting technique differently so let's start without wasting more time about the bucket shorting the theory of bucket shot says that bucket shot is also called as bean shot it is a shorting algorithm that works by partitioning an array into the equal number of buckets again i am repeating my words <coughs> bucket shot is also known as bean shot it is an algorithm or you can say it is a shorting technique which divides an array into the equal number of buckets yes over here buckets are the logical buckets it's just like a bag each bucket is then shorted individually either using the different shorting algorithm or by recursively applying the bucket shorting algorithm over here we have to keep two things are in our mind the first thing is that we have to divide our number into the equal number of buckets and then by applying any of the shorting algorithm or recursively bucket shorting algorithm for shorting all these individually or all these buckets individually it is a distribution shorting and even it also called as radix shot bucket shot is a generalization of pigeon hole shot since bucket shot is not a comparison shot the equation of bucket shot is omega n log n where lower bound is inapplicable to this particular shorting technique no doubt will make it very simple that how it works the logical flow of bucket shot is like this step number 1 initialize a one array which contains equal number of buckets so means that means first create a one array which generates equal number of buckets for shorting the numbers that is step number 1 step number 2 is scatter that means go over the original array and putting each object into its equivalent bucket that means what is step number 2 step number 1 is create an array for empty buckets step number 2 go into the original array which holds the number take the number from that particular array and put it into the particular bucket which has been created by step number 1 step number 3 is what short each non empty buckets that means once the relevant numbers are putted into the bucket short each bucket one by one and step number 4 is gather just look at to these two words scatter and gather step number 4 is gather visit the bucket in order and put all elements back into the original array that means whatever the values that you have kept into the bucket 
must be sorted again take all that values from the sorted bucket and put it into the original array ultimately you will get your all the numbers sorted so that's why bucket sort is also called a scatter gathered method sorting algorithm also bucket sort run in linear time on average it assumes that the input is gathered by a random process that distributes element uniformly over the interval of 0 to 1 no doubt all these theories are a little bit complicated to understand will make a very simple program for the same but before that let's see the algorithm of bucket shot the algorithm of bucket shot is like this step number one is start step number two is initialize the length of bucket that means create a one array which contains specific n number of elements then initialize i is equals to 1 for taking all the values into the bucket step number 4 is for every buckets that means starting from the first value to the last value of every buckets insert that particular value into the appropriate bucket step number five is then short all the buckets individually with any of the shorting technique here you can use insertion short bubble short quick short any and then in step number six concat all the list together in order which give you the shorted data and step number seven is stop let's make a program based on this particular algorithm so this is the program let me show you first the output let me put a clr scr so the previous execution gets clear from the screen So this is the program first it will ask how many numbers you wish to enter into the single dimensional array suppose I be I'm giving five then one for loop repeats which accept any five number from the user suppose I am inserting unshorted number my first number is nine which is on a zero for example then second is one then zero then two and then three so nine one zero two and three all these are the unshorted numbers and total there are five numbers my program will short the number that means press alter f5 my program will short the number and it displays like this onto the screen zero one two three and nine is not there something is wrong let's see again zero one two three last is not coming nine is not coming
let's give the less number of items uh, say for example 4 2 1 0 3 what will be the output 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 okay it shorts uh, less than 5 numbers my program will short less than 5 numbers uh, that's why there is a one problem over there will make it shorted out you can see that over here I have given the size of array is 4 then I have entered for any 4 unshorted number like 2 1 0 and 3 first it will print all unshorted number then my program will short all the numbers and it prints 0 1 2 3 which is the shorted number onto the screen so let's see how this particular program works by debugging the code first of all a one array of 100 size is going to be declared over here with two more variable called i and number one message is on to the screen enter the size of array and whatever the size i enters store inside the variable called number that means suppose over here i am giving 4 then this 4 is going to be stored over here into the number then one for loop repeats from 0 to less than number times that means it will accept any four unshorted number from the users say for example i am entering any four unshorted number like 6 0 2 and 1 so all that numbers are going to be stored inside the variable called array of i now this for loop will display all unshorted number onto the screen that means the array of element before the shorting is 6 0 2 and 1 you can see that all these numbers are unshorted then there is a one message the array of elements after the shorting that means this is just a message but over that there is a one function called bucket underscore short over here just observe that bucket short b is capital and short s is capital and in this function call i am passing the two arguments that is called as array which is all unshorted number and total number which is five so numbers are passed six zero two one and four into the bucket short so all that information came over here then as per the logic of bucket short this particular for loop counts that how many numbers are there into the unshorted list that is 4 so this count becomes 4 then the step number 2 and step number 3 of algorithm which actually creates the equivalent buckets for every number so for 6 0 2 and 1 4 buckets has been created by this particular second for loop and this third for loop will rearrange all the numbers that means short all the numbers and stored into the equivalent bucket and written over the function call all that numbers are shorted so this for loop will print all shorted number onto the screen so the output would be 0 1 uh, sorry 0 2 0 1 2 and 6 let's uh, repeat this code and let me show you the output Uh, 0 2 3 and 9 last one is not let's revise 
enter total four digits first one is four then one then zero and then two zero one two and two is repeating four is not coming why four eight one zero and three what will be the output zero one three and three is repeating Five numbers: three, one, zero, two, four. Zero, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. As you can see, that there are uh, shorted numbers like this: zero, one, two, three, and four onto the screen for any unshorted five numbers. So just note down this. Uh, inputted elements let me show you over the notepad total number of elements is 5 then we have entered the elements like 3 1 0 2 and 4 fine now let's see this particular program over the notepad for better visibility as in recorded lecture it not shows properly so I'm just opening the code this is the program what will be the definition <coughs> write a program to short the number using bucket short technique what I have done first first I have declared the necessary library function then let me shift this void main statement before the function call then there is a one void main statement inside the void main statement one array I have declared of size 100 you can cap 10 over here no problem <coughs> then two local variable called i and number then the basic function called clr acr then there is a message enter the size of array scanf percentage d and person number whenever you run this particular program the first message onto the screen is enter the size of array so over here I have given the size called 5 so once you give this 5 one more message is over there enter element to be shorted and dumb. that means it will ask any 5 unshorted number any 5 unshorted number is accepted by this particular for loop so over here what I have written for i is equals to 0 i less than num i plus plus so there is an usage of i scan a percentage d and person a of i that means whatever the numbers that I have inserted it stored into the one dimensional array like this a of 0 is equals to 3 then a of 1 
is equals to 1 a of 2 is equals to 0 a of 3 is equals to 2 and a of 4 is equals to 4 so in this way this unsorted numbers is going to be stored by this particular for loop then there is a one message the array of elements before sorting that means this type of message came once you enter this value the array of elements before sorting and this unsorted list is going to be printed onto the screens same like this once it is done by this particular for loop one more message is there the array of element after sorting that means just this particular message is going to be printed onto the screen like this and there is a one function call just observe this b and short i have done it in upper case it's not compulsory to give in upper case you can keep kept as a small case uh, lower case also but remember whatever you have done so function call is there array and number is passed that means this 5 and all these unsorted numbers are going to pass into the function called bubble short so program jumps from over here to this particular line of code in this line of code there is a function initialization all unsorted number stores in this array and 5 is stored in this particular variable called n then in this function there is an declaration of two local variable called i and j and count is equals to 10 maximum my program shorts any 10 numbers then whatever the values are there in this array must be counted so this for loop counts how many values are there into the array ultimately it gets the count called 5 because we have entered 5 unsorted elements once it is done it creates equivalent buckets for all these 5 numbers so for i is equals to 0 i less than n i plus plus count array of i plus plus that means it creates the equivalent buckets and after creating all the buckets it internally shorts all the buckets and store the equivalent value over here just observe that there is no initialization just i have kept a semicolon so don't make a mistake over here also once all the shorting is done again program came back over the function call and this for loop print all the shorted element onto the screen so what will be the output of this particular program the output of this particular program would be 0 1 2 3 and 4 so these are the shorted number of entered element so in this way we can perform bucket shorting i hope all of you have a little bit idea about how that bucket shorting works i know this is little bit difficult to digest but listen every word very carefully so it becomes easier to know about bucket shorting now i'm just giving you a few moments for writing the program first write down the definition that is write a program to short the number using bucket short technique then pause the video and write down all these selected lines 
write every lines very carefully don't miss any of the comma semicolon variable name anything just note down every line properly that means write down all the selected line just pause the video again and note down the remaining lines just pause the video and write down remaining selected lines i hope all of you have written the entire program input the values like this first give 5 then give unsorted values like this then by pressing alter f5 try to visualize the shorted value like this that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 let me rerun the program again just for the cross verification purpose it's getting shorted right 0 1 2 3 4 my inputted values are 3 2 0 1 and 4 and the output is 0 1 2 3 4 so this program works proper i hope all of you are clear with how the bucket shorts work in our next lecture we'll go for another shorting technique called merge short which is very easy comparative to the bucket short thank you very much students for listening me and have a nice day